me if I'm wrong, but you said that I'm an expert on international Muslim bourgeoisie and their hypocrisy. No, and I, I, no I didn't always say that. Huh? I, I, I know about, and I, I want to say it in a more softer way, in a more, lo in fact, loving way. Mm -hmm. I am, in fact, by birth, by education, not different from that. What, I am, what made me different is literature, where I went beyond them. First, I went to my people, and, and I also went beyond the culture of my Turkish bourgeoisie. And I also think that it's possible to go beyond the circles of where you are raised. But it also, I've been to India, I've been to many Muslim countries and they are welcome and people open me to their inside of their homes and I also know the Turkish bourgeoisie when their traditions, their, their desire to be European and secular and their desire to belong which leads them to hypocrisy. It's very hard to, to be a Muslim bourgeois um, um, uh, and in the end Fortunately or unfortunately, these are the classes that will take us more towards modernity. I should not be too tough on them. While on the ground, I'm angry for their hypocrisy. I am angry for them for their lack of interest in their past and their for their inadequacy in producing modern culture that would uh, give a sense of past and a modernity is something that would be new for Europe too. It's very hard to do these things simultaneously. And suddenly you can talk to like, you know, <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> you have to notice that you struck a chord because everybody laughed because there yes. was a self-recognition there. I see. Huh? A moment of real self-recognition. Yes. We all understand huh? what it is to, to be. Yes. Also, I'm, I'm proud about being honest about these yes, things. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you.